Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. This card is coming out so much this week. <laughs> Maybe everyone's focusing on hobbies. We have hobbies. With that Libra, we have join in. Let's see what we have for you, Libra. I'm going to pull an angel card. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. It's always significant energy, this, um, in the reading. So obviously there's an area of focus here. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Okay, this is the angel messages for you. I think we've got three. Number 21, self-love. The angels are encouraging you to take care of your own needs. Healing, number six. Archangel Raphael is assisting you in healing your mind, body and spirit. Now, sometimes a specific practice, you know, um, can actually help health and healing, whether it's mental, whether it's physical. I mean, this can actually be that kind of thing as well. I don't think it's a full reading, though. We have number 13, Joy. You are being guided to do more things that make you happy. All right, Libra. Yeah, I was getting um, a, a message uh, someone's saying, oh, I've got to I've got to get out of the house more, you know, maybe that's part of this. Let's see. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Angel spirits guides message for Libra. It's not limited to that, but let's see what we have for Libra. What do we have for Libra for the week? Message for Libra for the week. Six of Cups. Six of Cups can actually be when we come back to our happiness. This can be finding our happy equilibrium within ourselves. It can also be people and places that we have history with, nostalgia with, memories with, either in our current situation or connecting to the past in some way too. The moon. The world. The death card. We've got three major arcana in a row. We have the seven of pentacles. The tower. Oh my goodness, Libra, the chariot. And we have the Knight of Wands. So, Libra, the situation is, let's take, I mean, we've got pentacles here, which can be... It can be linked with money career, but it can also be about what brings us stability and security in, you know, relationships of any kind. So the the message that I'm getting here, I think that there is a, I mean, you could be reconnecting to a place or a person might be influential from the past in some way or someone that you've known for a while. I mean, this can be the energy here with the Six of Cups, but it's, it's also a great card of delight and happiness and coming back to our happy equilibrium. It comes here when, again, the Seven of Pentacles and the Moon, you're uncertain in terms of whether what you're putting time and energy into, it feels is going to come off. The the tower and the, the world card, 
The world card and uh, both cards can link with endings of some kind. The tower, truth, revelation, an event that happens, someone's actions. I feel that you're dealing with this. I think that you, I think this tower is like the ramifications of this tower and the continuing effects of this tower you're still dealing with. So I don't think this, I, I think this, it started before this week, but I think that you're still dealing with this at the moment. The world card is a completion. So there is, um, there's a suggestion here, Libra, some kind of significant change that you've been dealing with. You're wondering if in money, career, finances, it might well be you're wondering if you're going to achieve uh, a goal, worldly success, celebration, victory, triumph. It looks, that's the energy here. Uh, this is a, a, it might well be an experience that you've been going through complete successfully for you. But there's going to be a level of uncertainty. You know, intuitively, it might feel very positively. Sometimes we kind of, with that moon energy, we can just sometimes start fearing and doubting and being uncertain. And what we're putting time and energy into is, is going to pay off. But in this energy, it feels, certainly in money, career, financial terms, the Tower in the World card, it represents a significant change that's happened for you but some kind of successful outcome where you're stepping through from one phase of your life to another or you can finally if it's a process that you've been going through it completes successfully for you again the death card again is endings it can be to do with an ending or how something ended for you you might have been persevering on a path uh, for example, this can be in business career, it can be your own business ending, it can be to do with um, it can be to do with a job ending of some kind or a contract ending of some kind as well. For those of you, I mean, if it was more of a, an official process like legal, the same message applies. There is an ending at play here, but the death card always indicates we don't stop at death. You know, death is just, you know, where we kind of like really allow ourselves to let go of the old to embrace the new. Um, so this is the energy here that the chariot is a card of success. Chariot, victory, triumph, success, winning over challenge. Generally, because you just kept on going, and it might well be that you're doubtful here whether whether it, you keep on persevering on a path. Am I? Am I? Is it worth it? Am I going to keep? Am I going to get to where I want to be? Am I going to be successful? The message is yes. Some, I mean, it might well be that uh, this victory comes in very quickly for you because these energies can apply. Um, the Knight of Wands can also be very good in terms of opportunity, very good in terms of business, career, financial opportunity being offered to you as well. Um, so very positive on that front here, Libra. So I just feel that there is that sense of delight. Now, in addition to the message, there is clearly some kind of, it feels like some kind of invitation to do some kind of hobby. It could be joining some kind of hobby group or area of interest. You might want to get out and meet new people. I feel that that's still kind of part of the holistic message for you. Maybe in other areas of life, it could well be to kind of help balance out this significant energy that you're going through. Um, so this might, and it sometimes takes our mind off, sometimes when we do things that are practical or an area of interest, uh, it kind of takes our mind off other things. So it might well be that you're just trying to, as Librans do, trying to balance out your energies in different areas of your life. And this is the energy. But... Let's have a look at love romance as well. The, the, the Knight of Wands can be a player. I mean, not, it's not always the case here, but I feel in this reading it is. Uh, it could well be either this is somebody who you has been in and out of your life for a while. This would be an on again and off again relationship if that's the case. And you might be getting tired. You might be wanting to find your soulmate or connecting to your soulmate in some way. I might be questioning whether this is it. Similarly, the, the Six of, of Cups um, can also be a return from the past as well. And even though we have a soul connection, soul, soulmates aren't always with us for, the, for our entire life. Some people are. 
some people we learn from, we grow from a soulmate connections, and then we move on. So, you know, soulmate energy, we connect to people, you know, but sometimes we, we people come into our lives to, to teach us lessons. We learn and grow from those people. Other people are with us our entire lives. So whatever this soulmate connection is, it's either somebody who you've known for a while or someone returning from your past. The Again, the seven of pentacles and the moon, it, it, I think that you want more. This is the energy here. You want more. Uh, I think that you're looking at what you want long term in terms of love, romance, relationships. This person might well be asking for healing with you as well. But I think that there's really uns real uncertainty. Your intuition is going to be bang on in terms of whether you start off on this road again with that person or not. Because again, the Tower and the World card, uh, it can actually be quite an awakened energy, this as well. Uh, and, and sometimes we just kind of say, I'm going to let it all fall down. This is ending. And I'm ready to step through to a brand new phase of my life. Similarly, it can also be by someone's actions, like I said before, someone's actions, um, a truth, a revelation, their actions can cause the potential of an ending or the potential of change here. I think that you are wanting something more stable. There is a kind of feeling here, Libra, that you are wanting to find your long term person here. And this this doesn't feel like it. Free will. In this reading, that's what I'm seeing here. The death card and the chariot is, it feels like ending something and moving on. Uh, because I just don't think that you think this person is going to change. But I think that you want change. Because you want longer term, you want to build, you want a relationship to build in. And this is where you're kind of saying, do I want to continue investing my time and energy into this? when I can better get out there, meet other people and find somebody who I can build my life with, somebody who will give me the solid solidity and security and stability that I'm looking for. I want a long-term person. I don't want fun. I don't want action. I don't want excitement anymore. All of the, those things are valid, even passion with the Knight of Wands, male or female. But ultimately, this just feels like I want a long-term person. Um, and there's a kind of feeling of just maturing in that kind of outlook and saying, yeah, it was fun, but I want more. And that's what I'm getting here, Libra. Uh, so many cards of endings, drawing a line into something and stepping through to a brand new phase of your life because you're very clear in terms of what you want now. And I'm not sure this, this, person, messing you around, unreliable, in and out of your life, non-committal. This is not the energy that you would build your life with in this kind of light spread. Uh, so it might well be you're coming to some kind of significant decision this week. I love the fact that this energy, though, is, is kind of like, again, balanced point of view with Libra and energy. Okay, I'm going to deal with this energy, and that's fine. I'm going to really reflect in terms of what I want long term, because, you know, uh, you know, I... I want to build my life with somebody. And while you're doing that, it's kind of like, okay, well, what do I need to put in place? It's almost kind of like having that kind of um, life plan, so to speak, you know, in terms of, well, what do I need to do? You know, I'm going to join in. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to start, you know, more socializing. You know, you understand what I'm saying. And this just feels that kind of very positive energy of doing that. You are being guided to do more things that make you happy. And it could well be that there are more things coming towards you that make you happy. But this is recognizing what's not working for you anymore. Okay. So this is, uh, these cards are called Love, 100 Ways to Make You Sparkle. So the message, I enjoy being surrounded by others. Absolutely. Libras come into their own when you're with other people, you know. Uh, you love the kind of, like, I mean, you're the house of relationships, so you love relationships in any form. I do not bow to my fears. That's the energy of the moon as well. So 
Nice to see that. All right, Libra, final message for you. Final message for Libra. Final message for Libra. Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. And, yeah, flourish. Love that. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from your experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. I mean, there's a real kind of awakened energy in terms of love romance. There's also this sense here, Libra, about staying the course in terms of money, career, finances, because it just feels that sense of delight is coming your way. Chariot is a card of victory, triumph, success. Out with the old, in with the new. The death card, shedding of an old skin, letting the old fall away to welcome, welcome the new and be reborn. You know, that's the energy here. That's what I have for you, Libra, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.